We just got out of the experience Gloomy Eyes. I'm here with one of the producers and the set designer. Exactly, yes. Cool. So, I thought it's one... A, sorry, it's a set designer for the installation, you know? Yeah, it, exactly. So, I thought it was really cool first walking in there, this whole experience of everything around you. It's why people go to Sundance to have this whole experience, not just the headset experience. Tell me, what was it like doing the design on the inside for this, and how did you complement the film? I see. When I saw the piece for the first time, I felt like it was so important to prepare yourself to have this amazing experience. So for me, like the perfect place to find this beautiful world is a forest, a magic forest. That's why we create this kind of installation. Tell me a little bit about the film and what inspired it. Like the very first, uh, the very first call to action was we want to do something with VR. This is like uncharted territory, and we want to explore it. Uh, so this was the very first thing. And uh, at the time, we it was the, the first season of Stranger Things came out, oh, yeah. and we were like so like happy with the world and the and the feeling of the wet woods of the forest. This is what he was talking about. Like there, uh, there is something mystic about like these pine trees and the cold oh, yeah. and uh, and the mystery that is there. That you enter there and it's like another dimension. Yeah. And uh, and from there, from that feel, all of a sudden, like the characters started like coming in, and then the world was being built with the characters. Like there was like a synergy in which the more you know the character, the more you know the world. And, it took us two and a half years, but it's not that we were working only on this. It was just like something that was in the in the background, like growing. And at some point, we did a perfect consent because we, we had like already like so nailed. This is the first of three episodes. It's coming out around Halloween. Yes. Um, is it going to be available for Oculus or just the Vive Pro? It's going to be like on, on our platforms. Like uh, there is like uh, some ex exclusivity in Asia. Like uh, because we're getting like a lot of help from HTC and oh, yeah. we love them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a multi-platform uh, experience. And the better the technology gets, the better the experience. So we trust all of you guys to keep working on making the headset better, wireless, and super performance. So, you know, so it was such a vivid experience, and it was almost like very little dialogue. In it. Um, was that an important role that you had this to be something that bridges across all languages? So it doesn't come from the, like from the across language thing. Before it was mute, like the very first thing, and it has to do with the intention of taking you to a, a state of contemplation, exploration, and wonder, and to give you freedom to understand the way you feel and the way it resonates with you. We don't believe that much in the kind of content that gives you like something really digested and it's like, you should feel sorry for the hunger kids in Africa now. Like, this is something that we're not excited. Of course, we like like things to be better in the world in many ways, but in a way we believe that we're under underestimating the audience a little bit. Sometimes if we give things like too pre-digested and we humans, we like to explore the world. So we wanted to create a world to, so that people can have the freedom to explore. And after we felt, I mean, we were afraid of adding like, like the narration. I think uh, it's a wonderful thing that, that we added the narration because it, it enriches the world a lot more. So it's always like we start from zero and we add little components, but we always try to not not to overwhelm and not to take the freedom away, not to frame you in a specific spot. It felt very much though like I knew where to turn and when to look at what time. So it's very well done. A range of emotions you have going through in the eyes when you feel sad for the characters. You feel some comedy in there when the car starts shaking. I don't want to burn anything. Uh -huh. Very very good job. I can't wait to see episode two and three. Thank you very much. Where can people find out more information about this uh, experience? So right now we have like really nothing online. I mean some articles in the press. Uh, the website? And the website, I mean the website of the, the company is 3 dartcom uh, This is, uh, you're going to find like other short films and other projects that we're working on. But uh, we're really starting on the press right now. We were like launching on Sunday, so we, we couldn't really like make buzz about it. But hopefully we open an Instagram, you know. Yeah. Uh, like we should. And now you have some video content. Okay, for okay, I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Cool.